Kid Craddock in the morning. The Showbiz Top 5. Hey, it's Kelly Raspberry with your Showbiz Top 5 for Wednesday, November the 4th. DJ AM's estate has finally decided to go ahead and put his home for sale. It's a four bedroom, four bath house in Beverly Hills that AM bought in 2006 for $3.225 million. They're just trying to sell it for $3.8 million, not really trying to make a profit, just trying to unload it at this point. 3,375 square feet, custom built theater, flat screen TVs throughout the house, mahogany floors. floors. It's really a beautiful place. It was completely redone right before DJ AM moved in, but then he had some custom features put in like this astronomically huge closet for all of his sneakers. He had an obsession with sneakers. I think he had like 700 pair at the time he passed away. Kirstie Alley has signed on to do a new reality show for A&E and it's going to follow her as she once again tries to lose weight. Now it's her first TV series since 2005 when she was on Showtime's Fat Actress, which was a scripted series. But this time you don't have to you know, pay Showtime subscription rates to see Kirstie. This is going to be unscripted reality on A&E sometime next year. Now you of course, remember when she was the spokesperson for Jenny Craig and lost 75 pounds only to turn around and gain back 85. Now, we finally get to see Bruno interview LaToya Jackson. Some pretty outrageous scenes that were deleted from the Bruno movie because it was released right after Michael Jackson died and they thought it was disrespectful to his memory. But it's back in for the DVD version. Screw his memory, right? 90 seconds worth of LaToya pretty much embarrassing herself. Uh, Bruno invites her in for an interview into a room that has zero furniture. Of course, she doesn't recognize him. She thinks it's a legitimate interview. And there's a half-naked Mexican worker on all fours on the floor. And he tells LaToya that's where she's supposed to sit, and she does, and she giggles about it. And then they eat sushi off this other half-naked guy's belly. But it was only when Bruno grabbed her cell phone, looked up Michael Jackson's phone number, and was calling the number out to his assistant in bad German, fake German, that she finally decided she'd had enough and she ended that interview. So anyway, just save you the, the trouble of running the DVD if you only cared to see that part of it. Now Chris, Rep's, uh, Chris Martin's rep is saying there is no truth to the rumor that Star Magazine is reporting that he was seen making out by a lot of people with Kate Bosworth. One witness says it was a blonde girl he's kissing, so everybody assumes it's Gwyneth Paltrow, but when she comes up for air, they actually see it's Kate Bosworth, so I don't know if that one's true or not. And Jennifer Lopez is desperately trying to block her first ex-husband, Ohani Noah, from releasing this videotape. There's nothing really too explicit on there as far as nudity goes, even though they say there's one scene where she is wearing this really short dress and no panties and she jumps up on a motorcycle. But there's some naughty, like, little playful bedroom stuff where she's running around in her bra and panties. There's a little spanking scene on there. And there's also a scene where she's having a pretty violent argument with her mother. Nothing sexy there, but it's embarrassing stuff. She's a mom of twins. She doesn't want that stuff leaked out there, so I'm sure there's going to be a little uh, check written to Ohani Noah in the near future. And that is your Showbiz Top 5 for Wednesday.